Hey guys, welcome back to another cruise ship tycoon video. Uh, yes, it has been a bit. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, so today, uh, we're going to build and we're gonna talk about uh, some exciting CST stuff uh, that I think we'll all find interesting. Uh, so as of this time at 3.46 Central Standard Time, um, all three uh, SHL developers are in studio. Uh, Haggy's thing isn't on to where you can see what he's working on, but Alan Z is actually in the Cruise Ship Tycoon testing server, uh, and I do know Alan Z builds locally, so if he's trying to implement, um, if he's trying to implement the, uh, Titanic ship, well, that would explain why you're going on studio, because he needs to, because this testing server is where they make, uh, the updates. That's basically Cruise Ship Tycoon. But it's not actually like a finished final version. Once they get the final version, uh, they do a like, because there's an option in the studio to do like file publish to. So I'm assuming, because uh, you can also publish to groups, so I'm assuming they go in there and publish it to Cruise Ship Tycoon, the main game. Uh, but they actually do make the stuff in the testing server uh, in second handling development. And uh, usually, I haven't seen Alan Z in the CST testing server for a long time. Uh, Haggy, it doesn't tell you what he's working on. Uh, Micro K is working on a game called UI stuff. So, if Alan Z and Haggy are working on CST and Micro K is doing whatever. Uh, now I could also see if, like, Micro K is working on, like, other GUIs for CST, like, fleets or whatever, or... Not fleets, really. I don't want to get hopes up, so I wouldn't say that. But, like, um... This. Uh, Alan, uh, Micro K could be working on Revenue, or he could be working on Retail Tycoons 2 stuff. Um, it's hard to say. So, we're going to go ahead and do a tutorial, and I'm just excited. Uh, I think we all should be, knowing that they haven't, because, um, uh, Micro is like, CST is dead. But it's, uh, no, we're not doing that ship. Uh, let's do a, uh, have I done a Solar Pelican before? Yeah, let's do a Solar Pelican. Uh, so... Right, so here's what this means. This means that uh, they're still working on CST, uh, because uh, why else would Alan Z be in the CST testing server? Um, and all three developers are in studio. Uh, so we'll ke I'll keep uh, watching. Um, well, no, I'll check in every bit to see uh, on the testing server. But here's the thing with testing ser or games now. Roblox added the uh, this option to not do file publish. To, you don't have to publish your games now. You can just do save it. So what it'll do is it'll save the stuff you're working on in Studio, but it won't actually it won't actually publish it to the main game. So it's possible they could have just been doing that, but they don't want to give hints about uh, more updates since Roblox added that feature, uh, which I do see. Um, but I think we should all be excited because if they're gonna do another CST update and then work on Retail Tycoon 2 for a few months, uh, well, I think the community would be pretty much satisfied for a bit. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I couldn't say that because I know some people are just in the wall or crazy. Uh, but overall, general point, y you would have more time and have a more subtle community while you're working on something else. Um, but it's possible CST update could today if you think about it uh, the reason I say that is Haggy did say like uh, back in December or whatever we've been working on quote unquote we've been working on nothing but CST for the past month so if Haggy was I know they already implemented the ice rink because Imp showed us um, a photo of it and Haggy posted a thing of it working in devlog so that's already integrated um, so Titanic is I mean that's the only thing because uh, Haggy was telling now, I, I DM Taggy once. I'm like, so, do you guys have any more plans for CST updates? Because, like, you said, like, we've been working on nothing but CST, and there's been no devlog stuff for CST. Oh, also, Micro K was working on Seasons. So, uh, like, for CST, like, where uh, the climate would change for the islands or whatever. So... I mean, he probably did more, but, like, you only need to show one island to get the general point across. So that shows that they're working on it. So if I was to theorize this update, it would be the Titanic-looking uh, ship. Uh, game Pass or not, that I can't really say. But I, I'd probably assume it would be a Game Pass or really... It, it's either going to be a Game Pass or it's going to be, like, really expensive. Because you don't want to make a special ship, uh, like, cheap. Uh, I hope it costs more than Albatross if it isn't a Game Pass. Uh, if it's a Game Pass, I mean, you know, 
it would be worth it because here's the thing you gotta remember. It would probably if it's like three hundred Robux for a ship like the size of Pelican that looks like an ocean liner. Well, that wouldn't be worth it, I think, uh, personally. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much a little update um, of what's probably going on. I can't say they're going to update anytime soon, but on an assumption based, if I do, if we do see them in the testing server later today, uh, very strong assumption that they're they uh, are like I, w I shouldn't say planning, uh, but well, no, I should say that. they're planning to update soon. I couldn't say like, oh, they're going to plan update that same day, but it is also possible. So we're going to see um, if this server does shut down while we're uh, making a CST video. That would be funny. So, um, but I don't think it's going to happen personally because I don't know what they have to do. Um, but I do know it sounds like Haggy's main plan for this next CST, the next CST update is to do uh, the Ocean Liner Titanic ship because uh, he was making that really clear. So if we got Ice Rink, Titanic ship, some bug fixes... Uh, and if he added all the buildable objects, uh, like the, um, not the water slide pool, because I know Alan Z didn't, or someone didn't like that. Uh, but if you, if he adds, like, the, uh, um, the Titanic ship, uh, Mike's Comedy Hole, uh, Ice Rink, Desolinator, uh, I think they have a lifeboat model, too, but that I'm not too sure on. I thought I was reading somewhere. Or one of them said there's a lifeboat, but it's ugly and it needs work or something. Um, so if they added like a lifeboat um, and all that jazz, I mean that would be a really nice update, you know. Uh, even or if, uh, even better, I'm not do not get hopes up, but it'd be cool if they were working on like fleets this whole for these whole three months. Cause Haggy did autopilot in one month, so don't tell me Haggy couldn't do fleets in three months. Um, but that's just an assumption or an opinion-based fact. Hag the odds of Haggy actually have probably donning fleets are really small uh, because Haggy uh, said he didn't, they didn't know how to do it. But it's like Haggy could do autopilot, but he claims he doesn't know how to do fleets. That's interesting fact. I mean, but... Well, I think Haggy's thing... I no, Haggy knows how to do it. He just needs to fi figure out how to do it because... The thing is, well, you don't know how to do something till you play around with it, and I think that was the whole scenario with autopilot. You don't know how it's gonna work until you kind of play around with it. You're like, oh, I know what I want to do. Yeah. So that's an opinion uh, based thing, but it would be cool if we see a CST update coming up in the next few days. Um, so hopefully we do. Uh, hopefully the devs keep working on CST um, and put out an update soon after after all it's been like three months and. Uh, they did say, Haggy said, uh, to don't get hints about a big update. So, three months, we don't know what they've been working on, because Haggy doesn't need Alan Z and Micro K in studio the whole time, because you they don't all need to be in studio doing a project together. Uh, but right now, uh, they all are. So, it's possible, but don't take my word for it, because then you get Impu's like, yeah, Disney are wrong. I'm like, okay. No, it's kidding. No, I'm sorry. like, are you sure they're not working on CST? Uh, like right now? Because yesterday, I think Haggy was in studio. Yeah, Haggy was in studio all day yesterday, too. So Haggy could have been working on, um, if M Alan's, he's like, yeah, I'm almost done with the Titanic model. Well, Haggy could have been working on, like, the buy ship, uh, option and getting that ready, except he probably doesn't have the viewport yet. Because, uh, I was playing with viewports one day in studio for a game concept that I was going to do. Um. And, uh, yeah, viewport, viewports, you do need the model. Um, so, technically speaking, he could be getting things ready for it and, like, making sections for, like, uh, old-time ship stuff and, like, making it uh, where it'll appear with the Game Pass because they do have that test Game Pass, uh, which I think was the test customization plus. Um, but, yeah, so it would be cool if we see a CST update in the next two days, um, but don't take my word for it. Uh because it's hard to say knowing them. They're all unique in their own way. In a good way, not a bad way. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we get a new CST update soon. And uh, that'd be a nice thing. I mean, <laughs> an early and a late Christmas present, like a few months late. But 
the overall point is they're working on CST. We might see some sort of content uh, uh, in the near future here. Uh, I don't know how long. Um, now it could. Now I do say this, but I will say this too. Alan Z might just be adding the Titanic model for Haggy to implement. Because uh, I, I don't know what um, I don't know what Alan Z knows how to do. I uh, what like how his scripting levels are. I know Haggy's the main scripter, but I don't know if Alan Z actually knows how to implement a ship. I'm gonna go on a limb and say he doesn't, but he might know how to get like the viewport frame and all that, because that's all explanatory. Um, because I've played around with it with uh, that cargo ship game I was working on a bit ago. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we do get a CST update soon. That would be a nice um, feature uh, to the game because it has been. Uh, a really long time now, uh, October, and the reason I say October is the last CST updates were just bug fixes. So the technical last time we got a feature is what I mean. Is the last time we got a feature was back in October, a brand new feature. Uh, so a few buildable objects and a ship. I think that'd be a nice update. Uh, but if they're talking like a thick, thick update, it would be cool if they added fleets. Um, a few. See, here's the thing, too, that I forgot to mention. If Haggy was working on, uh, like, maintenance crew members and a few other things, or, because if Haggy's been working on some maintenance crew members, too, uh, it's hard to say, though, um, because Haggy made it sound like he wasn't really working on it. Uh, but Haggy also is able to, they're all able to balance uh, two projects at once because they did say, yeah, we're working on uh, several projects at one, uh, once. Um, so, yeah, that's... You know, I used to think several meant seven, because sev, like, se, uh, S-E-V-E, and then se, uh, first, and several, and S-E-V-E, and seven. So I used to always think it meant that, until someone's like, several means two, but I'm like, two or more, I'm like... Oh, yeah, so, um, yeah, um, yeah. So I thought since I saw them in studio, I'm like, well, might as well make a Pelican Solar update. Uh, I mean, if they're working on CST, I might as well uh, quote-unquote work on CST uh, for you guys. So uh, that I decided to do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so we're making a solar uh, Pelican, essentially. I keep acting like we're in a live stream, but I just remembered that we're not doing a live stream. However, uh, point being, we are doing a uh, Pelican tutorial and i kind of like pelican the best uh for the aft i like pelican's aft i will say this i don't even get me started uh on the front um i know this part actually a uh, fun little fact I, I i know guys i'm moving a bit slower here but it's just kind of a little i wanted to make a status update video so i thought i could combine it with a tutorial so this is a um this bow alan z actually asked uh, us and f three other people like well what do you think because at the time we only had raven and huron exactly a year ago uh we got um the pelican class see let me pull up the change log in game uh might be in settings yeah change log uh let's scroll down to like two slash nope 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 I remember when they added those. Oversized chest. Remember that? I remember when they added all this stuff, actually. Uh, because, yeah, here we go. Added three button out. Yeah, so here's a funny fact. I'm like Talon Z and me and other players like, well, we it, Pelican would be a nice ship if we could put balconies on each head. So then he's like, yeah, I think I'll work on some sort of, I'll make, we'll make, we'll, uh, not all ships will be able to have that, but, uh, we might make it, we're gonna make a smaller balcony var uh, variant. But then, surprise, surprise, um, cause he finished Pelican on, like, 223, so he was working on this, Bri the Pelican Radome, uh, Pelican Al and Albatross were actually being worked on at the same time, uh, but then they found out Albatross had a lot of bugs, cause I was talking to Alan Z. And uh, one time back during Alpha, I'm like, so is Albatross going to get added with Pelican? And he's like, uh, or separate or whatever. And he's like, well, it might actually be the same update, but it depends uh, if Haggy can fix the problems in time. So they added uh, the Pelic, uh, Pelican, new railing, and um, the which is the 
the new railing is the wooden uh, and one, and then they added the uh, store the three by four. All that was the same time frame. It was all in a like month they added all that. Uh, that was when CST was in its glory days of pumping out updates. Uh, you know, now it's a little more quiet. Uh, but that was when we only had two ships, and that's when the game's, like, needs drag, uh, big work. But now we got seven ships, I think. Seven. Uh, now I know most people in the uh, game that play CST, uh, most of you people, uh, do take Albatross for granted. But you gotta compare if you're on an Albatross. We had to wait, um, about six to seven months, uh, for the Albatross class. Um, when they were hoping they could get it done sooner, but Albatross had a lot of bugs with it, um, so what ended up happening uh, versus uh, was actually different to for se. Um, so just remember that if you think Albatross is small compared to Huron, you can fit five Hurons in there. Being locked playing CST with only Huron, Raven, uh, bars, just one bar, uh, in a bathroom and some rooms. That was pretty much alpha. Oh, and the two restaurants. That was alpha. Uh, with tables. Uh, because pools, they weren't functional at the time. Uh, in earlier alpha, um, he did, have, they did eventually make pools functional. But yeah, there was a time where it was just the bar. That was the entertainment. Uh, uh, the first day I joined, actually, I was lucky because, uh, when I joined... Alright, so when I joined, um, that was the day they added the, uh, making pools swimmable. Um, and that was a nice update because it's like, well, now we have more forms of entertainment versus that time when we didn't have more for forms of entertainment. So, yeah. Sorry about that, that was just my dog, but, um, <laughs> see, that's, uh, that's where you, uh, you can see that I'm not, like, a serious YouTuber, what I mean by that is I'm not trying to be, like, professional editing skills, I just like to be, uh, straight out, here's raw footage, I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, so, AFK for a minute, uh, if you guys need to catch up, you can do that. Oh, wait, never mind, uh, I don't need to go AFK. So, um... Yeah, so hopefully we get a new update, and I'm actually going to check. Uh, hold on, I'm talking to... Yeah, usually here's the thing about LNZ2, as I said earlier, he's mainly a local player. He doesn't always make his stuff, uh, like, in-game. Oh, LNZ went offline. F. <laughs> um, he could have been adding progress to it, the uh, thing. Um, but I'm curious to see if Alan's actually published or if he just did save, so I'm going to look at that real quick. Uh, but overall point, hopefully we're getting a CST update soon. Um. Oh no, he didn't actually update the testing server. He just did, probably did the save to option. Uh, but uh, as I said, Alan Z likes to work on things locally. And on Roblox, when you open up something locally, it doesn't actually um, register. Uh, what I mean by that is, if I open up a game locally, it will show me offline. Because you're not on actual Roblox, you're on... Um, well, you're on actual Roblox, but you're not on their servers. Uh, and since you don't need Wi-Fi to do unlocal studio, or what, uh, local studio, uh, and I, uh, Im said Alan Z has, like, really bad Wi-Fi or something. So, yeah, um, but yeah, that's a cool feature. Uh, we have, um, 
probably add it. He, I mean, if he already, because um, one time uh, back in like December or February uh, or January, I should say, uh, Haggy's like Alan's made good progress on the uh, Titanic model. Wonder if he'll show any photos soon. So, like, it, it's possible that what Alan Z was doing was he wasn't actually working on anything. He was adding his work that he's been doing over the past three months or whatever. Uh, the t AKA, when I say work, I mean Titanic ship. So he's probably adding the Titanic ship to the testing server. Uh, so that way Haggy can implement it. Because ha Haggy and Alan Z micro K. I bet you they have like a Discord chat group where they all chat and plan. Uh, or some sort of secret Discord channel that we all can't see. Uh, because here's the thing you gotta remember. They need some sort of communication method. Are they really just gonna individually DM? Um. Yeah, Imp never gets anything I say until I explain it like 10,000 times. Uh, I do like Imp. Imp is a nice... Uh, yeah, sometimes can be nice. Uh, uh, but, I mean, Imp's not mean. Uh, but uh, No, but Imp sometimes... What I mean is Imp doesn't get the point of things sometimes. Like, uh, But, yeah. Okay, I just said something back. Imp's like, I don't get why you question stuff when I say stuff. I guess to Imp, working on things means I haven't worked on something for, uh, like, weeks, but it still counts as working. Um, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, the overall point is, hopefully we get to see it. No, uh, me and Imp always argue about things. Uh, not in a bad way, but it's kind of like a, yeah, you don't get what you're saying. Um, or, no, not really that. I can't explain it. It's just called arguing. Uh, or debating. Debate, that's a solid word. Debating opinions. Uh, of one. Because I do say I will... I, and it's like, you know what's funny, too? If you say your opinion uh, to, and Imp sees it, she'll be like, well... It's like, well, you said this and that, but it's like, I said in my opinion, if I was this person. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I hate fighting. It, well, not fun. It just gets annoying when you're trying to record a CST video. Yeah. Imp is... Here's the thing about Imp. She's nice, but, like, sometimes oblivious. Because... I mean, Imp is usually right, and I would say I'm wrong, but I just try to, like, get what someone is saying. Uh, but, like, if you say, if I was Haggy, Imp takes it all serious, like, oh, well, Haggy doesn't do this. It's like, I know he doesn't do it, but I said, if I was Haggy, I would do this. That is an opinion as if, yeah, well, I would do it if I was this person. I would do this if I was that person. And what I said was, well, if I was Haggy, I would do a CST update every three or four months. And then work on uh, another project, so that a way I can get more done. And what I mean by that is, you can still settle one community while working on a new project. That's what I meant by that. But yeah, no, Imp is a nice person. I like all the people at Second Hamlin. Uh, some more than others. I mean, uh, but I will say Blue P, Llama, Imp, Micro K, they're all nice. Uh, Haggy, Alanzi. Actually, Alanzi doesn't really talk a lot, so I can't really judge that. But, um, 
no, Haggy is like, yeah, you should order a Haggy toy. I'm like, should I order a Haggy toy? Question mark. And then everyone's like, do it. <laughs> then Haggy's like, do it. Uh, so I did order a Haggy toy. And it's not because Haggy said so, but I kind of like the uh, tin pot uh, thing that they're showing. Because uh, you do get like a reward of like a tin pot. Uh, uh, no, copper bottom pan. So I'm kind of excited to get that. Um, you know what I should get? I should get a roll in the Discord that says like, critic because that's i'm always like a critic not like a I, I don't try to like but like sometimes i'll be like um argue de no not really argue debating uh sometimes with imp and just people uh developers and i i don't know i the point is i i think a critic rule uh role would actually be funny i uh, just give people critic roles and I, I do keep it friendly. I don't... I I love CSD. I don't hate on the game. But I'll just be like... Well, I I mean, CSD is a great game. I just think you need to work on more updates. Um, but that's just a personal opinion. Um, but no, CSD is a great game. Uh, and I definitely couldn't make anything like it. Uh, because I don't script. I build. I, uh, and I also don't know how to use Blender. So back to my point of... If I did make a CSD-like game, it would be a... Um, with Roblox Studio assets, because I don't know how to build in Blender as of now. Uh, so let's keep going and uh, placing this. But yeah, um, I do love CSD, and I do actually appreciate the things they do. It's just like, but I wish you guys would work on updates. More. That's that's kind of like my opinion, um, is that I wish they would work on updates a bit more. But CSD is a great game, and I love all their uh, games. Um, retail, Incursion. Uh, now, is CSD my favorite? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what attracted me to their community uh, when it came out, because here's the thing. I'm like, well, this game made Retail Tycoon. I remember him, uh, so this must be a good game. Because, like, I played Retail Tycoon. I mean, I'm sure we all have. And I played Retail Tycoon, uh, and I'm like, well, it's okay. Uh, so it was more of a, back in, like, 2016. So I'm like, okay, um... The, uh, these guys made Retail Tycoon. I kind of enjoyed it. Um, the game photo looks cool. So I'm like, well, might as well buy the game. Um, it was 250 Robux, so I'm like, okay, I'll buy the game. So I ended up buying the game. I tried it out. Um, I'm like, well, it's only like six players. And Hag... You know, you could see Haggy a lot uh, when CSD was an alpha. You, you would see him every day. Because uh, they would do... Uh, you would get updates daily in alpha. Uh, it would really, it would just be bug fixes, but it was like dedication. Uh, they would always show dedication, um, and because like CST was their newborn uh, baby, not really baby, but like newborn game uh, at that time. Uh, it was only like a year old. Because uh, CST uh, was made, it started in 2018, uh, so you can kind of get an idea of how long. I mean, even this, I mean, even their current stages of CSD, I think the game should still be an alpha or beta. Um, maybe a free beta or a free alpha, but the game is not even near done, uh, according to Trello. Now, it could change, like, honestly, I think Haggy could drop development on CST if he added, uh, the, because there's, like, six or seven buildable objects that they have. Uh, I think they finished off the arcade, but they have, like, six or seven buildable objects. Uh, Desolinator, Mike's Comedy Hole, um, I think the arcade's finished. There's, like, three machines that would make an arcade. Uh, I think they have some sort of lifeboat, and I think they have, like, a water slide with a pool, so that would be five. Um, and then they have Grand Staircase, so that's six. Um, there's a few more I'm missing. Uh, there's, one, there's, like, a few more I'm missing. Um, but the overall point is... I think you add all six of those items. Oh, I think there's a lifeboat too, yeah. Um, I thought I saw somewhere that they had some sort of actual lifeboat, but it was ugly. I think I asked Haggy about it once in DMs about the lifeboat. Uh, but there's if they've already made a lifeboat, he's like, yeah, we did, but it's kind of ugly or something. Something like that. I don't remember because uh, this was like a last year, and I'm not going to start digging through DMs. But... I think if they added all of those objects I just listed, added um, Titanic ship, added fleets, and fixed up some of the bug fixes, I think you could call that a finished game. Um, because you have, like, you the map's finished, you have autopilot, you add fleets. I mean, that would be a good way to finish off a game, I think. Uh, would I call it finished in current stages? No. We don't even... No, here's the thing. 
So if you added the Titanic ship, all those objects I listed, um, maybe another port, and finished off the rest of the crew, uh, I think that will, you could call that a finished game, because you would have all the crew, you have a great, you would have six, imagine six more, like, buildable objects. These are, like, objects. These aren't, like, walls and stuff. These are, like, objects, like, physical, um, things that the passengers can use. Except the desalinator, I don't, that's just, like, some sort of water filter. Um, uh, no, it turns, on cruise ships, it turns, like, salt water to, uh, drinkable, potable water, uh, but I think if they really wanted to dump CSD, it's like, just add the Titanic ship you're working on, add the, um, finish, try to finish off the rustic crew, uh, and, fl and add fleets and those, like, other objects that you have, because I know there's, like, a lot of objects in the bolt. Add all those guys in, that's CST. I mean, that would be a finished game, um, if they, or, like, you could call that finished, because... Right, this is, I mean, I love CSD, but let me just show you something. Uh, back to build mode. This is pathetic. This is all, this is the only entertainment you have. That, the re, the store doesn't even work, so back up here. You can only put all this stuff outside. So we have three things to put inside for entertainment. Yeah, that's, and like without the movie theater, <laughs> that was funny. Um, when we didn't have the movie theater and the only thing was drink bar, uh, but I think if you... We would have Mike's Comedy Hole is indoor. Uh, arcade. So we would get literally like half more indoor entertainment objects. So I think that would be cool if they added those two. Um, but yeah. I mean there's a decent selection. But you add more stuff there. I think that would be cool. Um, but I know CSD isn't finished. It's just... Retail Tycoon 2. But honestly, though, I wish they would do what they did with Retail Tycoon 1, where they, like, finished it all the way. They worked on it for a few years. But this isn't even that. I mean, <laughs> they just kind of call it oopsies. Um, well, the game's not finished, but, like, they, they're, it's not, now they're already on to the next project. So it's like, we just started CST, like, a year ago. Um, but they're, as they, I'm, they can handle two projects. I mean, you have Alan Z working on Titanic, uh, Micro K working on this, have Haggy script Micro K's thing, and then Alan's is like, okay, I finished Titanic. Okay, I'll come and script your thing now. And just kind of, that's kind of what they're doing. Um, uh, for say, and Haggy's also working on projects between the intermission time of waiting for Alan Z and Micro K to actually finish something. So, sounds like Second Handlin's going to have a nice future with uh, Retail Tycoon 2. Hopefully, a nice big CSC update. Um, this, like, this, they've made more objects for Retail Tycoon 2 than CSC. No kidding. No, just kidding. Uh, but they have already made a decent amount. Uh, but I hope we see some sort of devlog soon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it's, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, or, or, the how it's looking i can't say it as an official standpoint um but we'll say uh that it's truly good to or nice to see him working on csd again and i hope we do get an update soon i'm gonna go on a limb and say everyone in the community hopes we get an update soon uh but only haggy will make that choice um what will haggy do <laughs> honestly we don't know we'll have to wait and see uh, cause Haggy's the only one who can update the game. Micro K one is up. Micro K, I don't even think Haggy would let them update it. Because Haggy's kind of like, uh, as M says, quote unquote, a lone wolf or whatever. Uh, or something like that. Like, that she said Haggy likes being alone. Just like, doing his own things. Uh, his own scripting. And that's the thing too, with scripting, you can't really collaborate on a project. Um, because... You wouldn't understand how this person set it up. You're like, well, that's not how I wanted it. So, yeah, that's... Um, but, hopefully they do give us... Uh, not uh, Well, just hopefully they update the game soon. Um, so, next topic of interest. Um, coronavirus update. Uh, no, it's kidding. <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, that would be funny if they actually did add coronavirus update. But, 
uh, where we could like stimulate the coronavirus on our cruise ships. I should suggest that and they suggest uh, and cruise ship tycoon. Um, but. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Uh, so, I know, I'm not the fastest builder. I could do speed builds, but I don't like Cruise Ship Tycoon speed builds, because you can't even follow them. I mean, you think I'm fast. You go watch a speed build. You're gonna come crawling back like, Okay, I take that back. Because some of these guys' speed builds, they're just... No, they're just bad. They're too fast, um, per se. Um, I will say, though, uh, our channel's glory day was, was uh, with, like, the view uh, counts was mainly back in the uh, alpha beta stage like 365 days ago that was kind of the peak of the channel uh, when you had more views uh, like thousand views like uh, one time after a week of like a pelican video I had a thousand views uh, now the thing is when I update an albatross video that's a thousand views uh, in two months uh, so the view count's gone down because I was dormant for a bit, and I do kind of regret that. Uh, same thing two months ago, Mallard tutorial, 482 views. Uh, the views are good, but my for like, five months, two, 2k views, is kind of nice. Uh, so I do hope to revive the channel once they do a CST update. And actually, um, I'm, uh, now, this is a good view count, 4.8k in, uh, six months ago. That, yeah, that's like, I, I like that view count. Um. But the thing is, DST is not in a early stages. Uh, nine months ago, 11k views. Um, so it, I. The thing is, I hope that when the new content comes out, I'm able to make uh, new videos for you guys, and hopefully we can get our community to grow a bit bigger. And the reason I say that is, I'm hoping we get a thousand subs by July or June. Uh, yeah, July. But I need to keep working on videos. Um, so I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, I'm hoping that when they do a CST update, I'm hoping to do frequent uh, frequent tutorials uh, with the new Ocean Liner ship. That's going to be a goal of mine uh, because then I'll have a new ship to play with. But with uh, ships like this, it's kind of repetitive. And I can't really make tutorials either because when they haven't added stuff for months, and I'm like, well, I already did this tutorial. So, I mean, this is the same as um, a tutorial back in July. I mean, it, I don't know if I did a solar pelican yet or not, but the ideal look of the ship is the, uh, similar because they haven't added any new objects. So, I mean, I can't really change things up too much because there's no new objects to play with. So, I'm hoping we get a CST update soon so I can do more videos um, with, like... I can do more videos, but tutorials get rate limited because you don't have the um, new content. That was the thing. Back uh, in Alpha, we were always getting new content, new ships. So it was more of an easier uh, spike to get more, um, to be more active and make more videos because you, there's, I mean, there's uh, new content getting added. But now there's not really any content getting added. Um, as of now, but once the Titanic update comes out, I think uh, CST videos in whole, they're not getting as much views as they normally would have back in Alpha, because here's the thing, the game isn't, they haven't done an update for, since, they haven't added uh, new equipment for a long time now, uh, so, yeah, um, that's an opinion, well no, it's not an opinion, uh, they haven't added stuff for a long time. Uh, but hopefully we do get a CST update soon. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, why I haven't been making videos as much, because they haven't added content to be able to make videos. Because the last time they added content was the autopilot. That was that was October. That was the last time they physically added CST content. So I can make games on Incursion. I mean, I'm not the best at Incursion, but uh, we could do like funny fails of Incursion where I'm bad. Uh, cause I kind of, I'm not bad at incursion, but I'm not the best. I will go with that. I'm okay. I mean, I can win around, uh, sometimes. Um, but, uh, CST was kind of my main goal. And that's the only reason I do make YouTube videos is cause CST. Uh, but I do enjoy one thing. I, I am proud of one thing. I kind of sparked up the CST videos cause when I started making videos, we, our chan, as in we, our channel grew so fast. I mean it. I mean it just skyrocketed. 
uh, with you, you guys joining and uh, just just kind of like growing bigger because if there is and so then there's people who make videos because they want to be like uh, us which yeah I, I do love seeing that um, I just do say that so I am actually kind of proud that I was able to spark up a uh, CST video content thing um, where CST videos were getting made because it's like Oh, I love how this guy's making videos and hey, it's a new opportunity. It's like a new investment because no one was making these Then we made these and our channel grew so fast and we were like, oh, I want to be like that uh, Like them. So it's like, yeah, so I do enjoy seeing that um, But reality is it's not gonna happen for because uh, the growth of CST related channels has actually gone down a bit because um, There's just been no new content to make change up videos um it's just been repetitive like placing now this is all different because i don't think i've done a csd pelican <sighs> tutorial because the last pelican tour to uh tutorial i did was oh boy i haven't even made a pelican tutorial for a bit so i did a huron three weeks ago so i need to do pelican albatross oh geez i got like eight ships to do or seven, I should say. Because I haven't done a Pelican tutorial since six months ago. Our last Pelican tutorial was six months ago. Wait, no, five months ago. Five months ago? That's ridiculous. So, that's on my end. I do apologize. I, I'm i probably going to be doing more tutorials in the next, uh, in February, uh, to get more tutorial videos for you guys. Uh, more updated. Because what I'll do is I'll make a video and I'll be like, okay, so next ship isn't going to be Pelican. We're just going to kind of do chain. Um, probably going to do a Mallard tutorial. Wait, what? Um, yeah, so after this video, we're just going to do Mallard, um, uh, Cormorant, um, Huron, and Raven. And then we're going to do uh, the bigger ships. And hopefully by then, Titanic's out. Uh, but I may skip that order if Titanic comes out. I, I know it's not going to be called Titanic because uh, why would you call it Titanic? But it looks like Titanic, so that's valid reasoning to call it "quote unquote" Titanic. Um, and yeah, it kind of looks like it too. I mean, I know it's not Titanic, so more of an Olympic class looking ship is uh, would be a correct way I have to say it. More of an Olympic class looking ship. But hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully that's kind of my uh, plan. I also plan to make more VSF videos, but mm, I don't, I'm not good at, I mean, I don't think I'm good at vehicle simulator videos. I will say one thing too. I got all my uh, friends from Cruise Ship Tycoon it, uh, into VSF, and I do enjoy that because the VSF community wasn't really booming with videos. I mean, I would always look around uh, when CST was in alpha, like, I can't find any, oh, actually, before that, uh, when I got VTail Tech, uh, in, like, 2018, I couldn't find any videos on it. So I started making VSF videos, and then friends are like, ooh, what's the game? And I'm like, okay, here's this, that, that, uh, and I had, like, inquiries, like, what game is this? Hey, can you send me this and that? Uh, can you give me a site? So I did that, and now VSF community with cruise ships is more, uh, to a booming stage. So I'm proud of that, too, um, personally speaking, um from my end, because I'm, I'm just proud that I was able to help spark some things and uh, move some things, but I just, I'm just amazed that, like, uh, with, when we made CST videos, that I was able to do this, and I still think about it, I'm like, well, this is unreal that I have this many subs, because I remember, like, I was trying so hard to make videos, but here's the thing about being, uh, quote, a, a decently uh, YouTuber, uh, you don't try. You're not trying. You're doing it. Though I just kind of picked on this one kid because he's like, how many times will this have to be reposted? I'm just talking to him like about something. And then this annoying kid comes in and is like, 
Well, this, yeah, how can you do this if you repost it? Don't repost it, it doesn't matter. Because uh, MicroCase said, quote unquote, the game is not dead, but we're trying to work on games so that we can constantly get better consistently get better. CST is rather a niche game, which means smaller game, with a small audience. Uh, it can't be updated indefinitely like your average jailbreaker or Daphne. And we wouldn't learn to make games that way either. Uh, there will also certain mo certainly most be updates, they're just not the primary fo focus. Um, Uh, but I will say, um, yeah, hopefully the I don't get imp. Some some kid will say this, and I say you don't need to repost it because they're working on this. And then imp comes out of the blue. It's like I don't get what you're trying to do. Like I see what Imp's trying to do. She's trying to make me feel bad. No, um, no, Imp is like, um, saying how it's like more of an opinion, uh, like a mind based thing when you're like, they're not working on CST. But if they haven't worked on it for, uh, weeks, well, they're not working on a game. So that, I mean, that's kind of where I see it as. Um, but, uh, I don't, I don't know. They'll be working on CST, uh, today and then they won't work on it for the next week. Uh, and what I say that is because if you look in devlog, um, the last CST thing they did was Seasons, um, which was uh, 2 slash 04. That was already 4. Wait, what's today? That was 14 days ago when Micro K showed us the tree stuff. I can't believe that was already 14 days ago. I swear, you know what's going to happen? When Haggy updates the game, he's going to disappoint everyone because everyone would have been expecting fleets. Uh, because three months, come on, Haggy. So, like, everyone would have been uh, expecting fleets because there's always people that are like, we need fleets, we need fleets. And it's like, well, you're not wrong, but uh, I'm going to beat this kid. Oh, I hate these kids. They were like, well, we don't know that he's working on Titanic. Uh, yes, we do. Because here's the thing. The only thing Alan Z's ever posted in Devlog, or Haggy even posted it, was um, he's working on uh, this and that. It's like... I miss the Alpha Boys. The Alpha Boys were better. And then you have these kids that come in here and act like idiots uh, who don't know what they're saying. It's like, he's like, we don't know what's going to be in this update. And then if you ping someone because you're talking to them, there's like multiple people, don't ping me. 
Ah, I hate where this community is going with some of these people, I tell you. It's like, don't ping me. It's like, you idiot. It's like, if there's five people talking and I say you, how are you supposed to know who's who? Haggy said, quote unquote, we're going to do a big CST update because we're, we're, we've are we been working on nothing but CST. So don't get any hints about a big update. So it's like, so now, you're, yeah, Haggy's been working on bug fixes for three months. Really, Imp? Really, Bullpo33? It's ridiculous that you would even say that. Yeah, Haggy's been wasting a month on bug fixes. Haggy likes bug fixes a lot, uh, but that was when CST was in alpha. Yeah, okay. Uh, back to the video, instead of talking to people. Uh, and they have to go anyway, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, so back to the video. Um, let's do an indoor bar. Wait a minute. Uh, pool. For once, I make valid points to Ims where I'm like, okay, I get it to where you're coming from. And you can just talk about this with this guy. Yeah, so here's the thing. I mean, everyone has different sides. So, reality, 
everyone's going to have different opinions. Uh, what actually happens, happens. Uh, so we'll just kind of wait and see what Haggy decides to do and uh, what ends up happening. Yeah, that new ship's gonna be nice because then I'll be able to do fresh tutorials with like whole new designs. I've already got three designs that I can use for the Titanic ship uh, that I've been thinking about uh, some while well, I play CST and I uh, just kind of like farm the game. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a solar... I'm not gonna go a month back here to get a photo of the... Uh... Uh, this ship seems like it's going to be the length of Pelican. And the reason I say that is if you look in the foreground photo, it's uh, the bow is lined up with Osprey's bow in the background. And it goes like to, um, it looks like it's as long as the Pelican. I have good reasoning because if you compare this, it looks the same length. Uh, so hopefully we get a ship, if the ocean liner is as long as Pelican, that's going to be a nice ship to have uh, for size wise too, not just cool ship to have. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but a new ship will allow everyone in, uh, who makes CST videos to do a new form of uh, videos. But trust me, compactness is going to be a big thing. Oh, also, I want to show a uh, secret CST ship that you might not know about. Um, it never got added to the game, but I will still go on and show it uh, when we finish this tutorial. Uh, and what it is, it's actually funny. So uh, Alan, if you look at his games, he has a bunch of these random CST-related stuff, like CST Continent, oh boy, which is uh, essentially when Alan Z was more enthusiastic, uh, but now he's kind of quiet and uh, does, gets annoyed easily. Uh, because, like, back in Alpha, Alan Z would always, like, answer questions and crap. No, he doesn't do that. Uh, now he's just kind of lazy, but... Um, it's fine, because, like, honestly, as long as he's still working on CST, I mean, that's... Uh, let's check studio and see. Nope. Yeah, it's just micro K. And, although, Alan Z could still be working on stuff. As I said, Alan Z does things um, locally. It's definitely longer than Cormorant by, like, a lot. Yup. Uh, so let me, uh, hold on guys, uh, let me line up this, uh, arrangement so we can go see the new CST, or the old CST ship that'll never get added. Uh, I believe it was called CST Testing. Yeah. Alright, well, that should be it, and we'll go, uh, test it, when or play on it when we're, well, not really play, just kind of show it. Uh, you can't go inside anything, and you also see the old, uh, glass railing, which, trust me, uh, everyone wants that, uh, old glass railing. I like the old glass railing, but it, yeah, I don't know. I hope I have enough slots for all the officers. Oh, we are definitely have enough. Um, oh, actually that's good. I want to add one more housekeeping. I wonder if Imp knows the specs, but if you ask Imp, can't... You know, it's funny, Micro K can say stuff about a future CST thing, but Impic is not allowed to. Which is actually kind of funny that Imp isn't allowed to say anything. Yeah, that's the thing too. Imp isn't actually allowed to say anything about a, uh, in the, anything in the CST testing server. It must be some sort of agreement. Like, yeah, I promise I won't say anything. Uh, because here's the thing too. If Imp spoiled an update, he's probably got a job taken. 
Well, she doesn't really get paid, I don't think. I think it's... Uh, but Imp is the only game moderator, which I don't think is politically a good idea. I think they need to hire more people, because if you're trying to get people banned for, like... Or trying to get people out of your game from, like, exploiting, or just being an idiot, being rude... I mean, you kind of need a uh, bigger moderation team than what they have. He's uh, He says it's small, but Imp can't... Uh, hop each server trying to see if someone's exploiting or someone because like in dss3 there's a player report you can like put a player report and one of the mods will join you and that person will get banned in cst that's not a thing you, some people have posted exploits and no one ever comes up imp doesn't go because imp doesn't really like dealing with that stuff uh micro k is in on micro k doesn't really care it's like so just they need to hire more moderators who will care who care about what's uh occurring in the game and where uh players can go and player report something uh to help bust down um hackers uh just rude people ruining game experience uh that's something i will say that they do need to improve on uh which probably won't happen anyway but i'm just still gonna say it as a suggestion i said oh i had this problem the other day i used to know how to say suggestion suggest all right, all right. Let's suggest something. Uh, yeah, no, I just don't say. I haven't said. Um, I know how to spell it. Uh, suggestion. Suggestion. Yeah, suggestion. Uh, wait, no, I didn't say that right. <laughs> this is funny. suggestion. 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 All right. So I said. So now I can say I suggested that anyway. Um. Because, like, what will happen is I'll start thinking about different ways I can say suggested, suggested, like suggested, or suggested. So it's like, you know, alright, so, um, let's just kind of place these things. But I know how to, sp I can spell pretty much, like, any of the things that I may post, and I know what they mean, but I don't know what, how to, like, say it, because I don't go around saying, hey, I have a suggestion, suggestion. Suggest, but I can like say it at school, no problem. See, that's what I don't get. How come I can say this at school, no problem? But uh, yeah, so I don't know. Um, but probably because I don't talk a lot. I used to talk a lot, and I think the more you talk, the more your voice is getting used, and you're more frequent to that language. But when you don't talk, yeah, your voice isn't getting used, and you don't know how to pronounce stuff because you just haven't practiced it for a bit. Uh, so I will say this. Um, we're almost done with this, I believe. Uh, also, we're going to put a plant right here. Uh, let's put this one. This was kind of basic. Oh, we... <sighs> let's delete the hot tubs. More sunbeds would actually give us more entertainment. Um, actually, no, no, no. I have a way we can still get hot tubs in here. Yeah, just delete these... Uh, quadrants and just put <sighs> yep and that'll take care of hot tubs and now we still have hot tubs uh, so actually let's put benches in here because pools do have benches um she might be like why well pools have benches um, on cruise ships no but I know hotels do well, I haven't been on a ship with an indoor pool now that I think about it. So we'll do this little seating area, because sometimes the adults aren't going to want to get out there. Or not adults, just kids, or like, you know, or if you have a problem or you need to do something real quick. Um, Okitaka. Uh, let's... I think that's a Stitch quote. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Lilo and Stitch uh, instead of making CST videos, if you were wondering what I've been doing. Uh, well, not Lilo and Stitch. I finished Lilo and Stitch, and I'm on Yuna and Stitch, and then I'll get to AI and Stitch. I kind of like the anime uh, Lilo and Stitch better. I can uh, oh, I thought we just deleted this wall the other day. Well, not the other. Well, the other CST day, technically speaking. Uh, but the other day, basically, no. Uh, okay, uh... I think the ship is finished. Yeah, definitely finished. Okay. Uh, okay, let's load up the passengers. 
I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, all I can say though is we need uh, more supplies and everything. Um, we have nine mil uh, milliwatts. Um, I don't. Okay. Uh, how about? It's funny because I'm like, oh, it's going down. I don't like when it goes down. Actually, it might not go down. And the reason I said that is because uh, the reason it might not go down is it may go down now. But what will happen is when they wake up, it'll go up because they'll be active. And when they're not active, they kind of complain about some things. For when you first get a brand new ship, I, I've noticed. Um, I don't, how many passengers do 112. Yeah, we might have too many. What what are, what is there? What are they complaining about? Decoration I can fix because I have the uh, basic needs. Do we have bathrooms on every floor though? Bathroom, bathroom, entertainment. Hmm. Um. Need to find one of those like three. Yeah, let's delete these. This is fifteen decoration, but let's go ahead and put the albatross statue in there. That should also help for decoration rating. Yeah, it kind of helps a little. Um. Oh, you know what? It's because we don't have this. Um, no, not that deck. We don't have this deck. Yeah, that would explain. But I've I have bathrooms on every deck. So that questions. Oh, uh, we can furnish this better too. Uh, let's actually furnish it. <sighs> okay. But as I said, you kind of need to let them wake up too and let them f uh, facilitate the ship. Uh, let's make sure we have connecting doorways to everything and entertainment. Uh, we do have enough entertainment, so I see how we have five entertainment. But is this not enough restaurants? Thing with CSD is sometimes you just need to wait uh, when you build a new ship. Uh, I hope this fits in here. Probably won't though, because the burger place is massive. So, okay, yep, that won't work. Okay, uh, undo. Uh, why is it just the one table? I'm like, uh, why do we have to undo each individual? Okay, let's just delete a few rooms. That'll fix everything. Uh, if we delete a few rooms, um, like these two, just, let's take these four out and see if the ratings change. Well, we have to unload them and unload. So, passengers unload, load 3.6e. Okay, we'll fix that. Um, Mm, mm, mm. I got a good idea. Um, utilities. Uh, oh, no, not. There isn't enough food here. I'm hungry. Is the food deck, like, closed to offer? Is this person just dumb? Okay, uh, well, we don't know. So, what we can do... Kind of messy, but... Kind of made this area messy a little bit. So we're gonna, but we're gonna fix this because my minimal requirement when I make ships. Um, usually I never. It's always when I record a tutorial when I have to go back and adjust something. I never get that. Um, then I'm hungry. Why? Okay, let's see upstairs and see what's. Okay, there's something going on upstairs that I'm not aware of. Uh, it could be the fact that the. There's a problem with the way I have the access set up. Uh, let's look. Well, there seems to be queue space. Okay, that makes me wonder. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 
Well, I can't say this pelican is different than all my other ships. Um, this is definitely a big difference in area. Um, let's remove those two, because uh, that will help with crowdedness a bit too. Uh, maybe if we can fit like a bathroom. No. Um, how about single bathrooms? Fit single bathrooms in place of that. Then what we'll do? Because then they're getting more uh, utility. But I think we might have something blocked off with stairs. Yeah. So we'll unload them in a second because I tell you, the slightest amount of passengers, four passengers, can make a massive difference. Sometimes I don't know why, but. And technically, too, we did all marble force, but it shouldn't be too hard to fix. So, again, as I said, alone 3.8, that's definitely better. Uh, we should get four, actually, because we got we removed um, four rooms, and this time we removed two. And that was point four we got back, so we should get that point two. Um, but I guess we're not getting it. Uh, how's it done? Okay, it's almost four stars, and it still says 3.8. Yeah, let, let's go to second here. Did I put anything on the bow? Yeah, I did. Okay. Is the bow accessible? Yeah. Um, oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh wow, wow, wow. wow. All right, well, while this does whatever it's doing, uh, we're going to need this. I told all my DSS friends that I just met, I'm like, well, I'm a CST YouTuber, so I might not be on because I'm making CST videos. And they all join me and start messaging me. Yeah, do you want to go play DSS? I'm like, well, I'm kind of doing my uh, tutorial, but... I will. I would like to, but uh, being CST tutorials because my fan base is CST. <laughs> uh, but um, also, I want to look into doing more. Okay, let's. I tell you, this is better take care. Okay. Um, can we fit a? Uh, wait a minute. Can we fit a taco stand up here? No way. Okay, let's do a taco stand. Let's make this a little mini restaurant too, because this might settle some food. Uh, related issues too. Um, I can't promise it will, uh, but I can say this. Oh yeah, the ratings are already going up and we haven't even unloaded the passengers to get the more updated ratings. Uh, so, okay, this Pelican, let's just say this Pelican's already a lot different. The reason is that the front areas, the pull down, yeah, this Pelican's a lot different than all my other Pelicans. Uh, this is good though. We, we should be able to get point two back, and that'll help with decoration. This should hopefully unload. Come on. Carry over to four stars, boys. Oh, this is where you almost are at four stars, and then you need to remove like 8,000 rooms or replace it with bathrooms. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, 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 wow, 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 oh, oh, wow, 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 that's 4 or 3.9, it might say 3.9, see, what do you mean that is 3.9, that this is like the smallest little take mark, and it's 3.9, shouldn't you round it out to 4? That's for, okay. That is ridiculous. I I hate getting graded on uh, CST ships. I tell you. Um. Oh, real quick, let's check if the devs are in stupid. Uh, it tick seems to be gone. See, this is where I got to move like eight thousand rooms because it it's just like almost to the verge of saying four, but reality kicks you in the. Uh, but, um, I don't know what we can do. Oh, 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 uh, you know what we can do? Marble. Uh, let's just make this whole area marble. That 
hopefully carries it over. I'm gonna, we're, this tutorial will be done if it, uh, but I tell you, the point won't will make a big difference in your rating. So let's try this. And give it a few seconds. Uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Haggy Stone Studio Allen's is not and Micro K is. Uh, and Imp is online. And no one's meaningless title is off. Meaningless title is literally what it sounds like. It's, uh, according to Haggy. It's just meaningless. There's no point to it. Uh, just But just to make Lee Cookie stand out. What's funny is Experimental AI is a moderator. But then I just roll. Right? So that's Imp's like, custom moderator role. But then meaningless title. He's not a moderator. He's and he's a, has a higher group role. See, there's that little tick mark. Uh, it's so small. See, look, it's just this little ticky, like this little tick mark. Okay, we're we're moving two more rooms, and if we don't get it, that's gonna we're just add them back. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. I was gonna say bigger restroom might also help. Uh, we're not removing any more uh, restrooms now. Um, the reason is, I mean, bedrooms now because we've already removed a ridiculous amount, and now the ship pro. The honestly, the one tick we're trying to get probably isn't even gonna be worth the rating. Uh, the reason I say that is. You go for perfect stars, your ship won't always make more money with perfect stars. Um, now, five star ships aren't hard. You just can't have all the rooms and you have to utilize all the decks. That's pretty much how a five star ship works. Uh, it's really easy to do a five star ship with Huron because um, it's small and uh, you have a different mindset when you're an alpha player and you're decorating a Huron, uh, which is essentially you have one deck for rooms and the everything else is for food and entertainment. Uh, sometimes you'll do like small rooms. In there. I but I, we honestly had too many. Come on. That little tick mark grew in smallness, but I can't even tell, honestly. Um, Four. All right, that's four. Okay, uh, so there's your four star ship. Um, okay, kind of just walk inside. Come on, ship. Well, it's just when you're taking... Oh. oh. Oh my god. I love this photo. Oh my god. Yep, we're taking... This is definitely the thumbnail. All my thumbnails are always this. Like, no kidding. Alright. <laughs> it's fine, though. No? Uh, no, that's too big. Ship, I just told you to... Oh, he already left. Okay. I like ship. I just told you to leave my ship and you're already back. <laughs> okay. Save as Pelican Solar 2 slash 18, uh, 18 slash 20 tutorial. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't think you can do. Alright, uh, now we're gonna go to the next. You've played CST? No way, I want to see a ship, uh, ships play. Ship. Oh, it's just kind of empty. Yeah, ship is funny. He's fun to play DSS with. Um, he doesn't really do anything, but he's funny. So, I give him that.
Alright, let's go ahead and shift on over to CST testing. If the video ends, I'll just do a merger, uh, but hopefully it doesn't do that. Come on. Come on. Come on, CST. I mean, hold on, guys. There we go. Okay. Uh, here we are. So, this is the unreleased CST ship. <coughs> um, it's not wide enough. Um, it looks ugly, as you can see. Um, but this was a 2018 model of the ship. I don't think you can... Oh, you can go. Uh, I mean, it's big. And it's a, I mean, it's a lot bigger than Huron. You can see that uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, and here's the old glass doors, too. Bulky. There's the old glass railings. Pretty. <laughs> uh, no, but um, this is the old... Uh, this is what Alpha was like, by the way. If you never played Alpha, the, all of the models had this weird texture. And what I mean by that is... It just had this weird older feeling. Um, this this is the old door too, but yeah, you can see why it didn't get added. Um, I do say I do. I think this would have been a okay. Here's how they could fix this ship. Um, here, can I jump? Okay. Um, here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is only seven wide. And if you're trying to do a concept like this, I don't think you could do what they did for the design. What I think they would need to do, move the walls out one for this deck. You could do what you did for here on there, but move these walls out to this tile and move these walls out to this tile. Move, uh, yeah, move them out to this tile, uh, which would cut there. So this would have to go one further back um, and, uh, but this is actually a nice ship. I do like it, uh, personally. Um, but you can see that they copied some things over. Uh, there's the Huron hole. Uh, not hole, but there's Huron's, um, underside, uh, thing. And they also copied the aft structure. You see this, and then versus this. Yeah. This is the old Huron class, by the way. That was a ship hack you guys used to test it. Oh, that's even the Huron with the old wood and doors. Oh, that's cool. So that's the older Huron, actually. Uh, but it still has the bulbous. Um, but honestly, if they would... How tall is Huron? One, two, three, four... Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's one, two, three, four... Six. Honestly, if they cut this one deck off, um, yeah, just cut this deck off. See this deck, or make it, uh, or just cut that. Just make don't make the engine deck a deck. Make this the new engine deck, and make the water line like to this. That then you this ship would work, I think. Um, yeah. Pretty much that. Just remove one of these down decks and move the walls over and make it longer. But this is the unreleased cruise ship tycoon ship. Um, and the old glass railing. Uh, so, I mean, this ship is kind of cool. I mean, uh, oh, also redo the bridge style. I mean, the bridge style is unique. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end up this tutorial. Whoa. Is that a hole? Oh, wait, I want to walk over there. Uh, also, uh, Raven was also one deck taller, and it was also a lot different. But then Haggy told Alanzi to modify it, and now it looks like a big yacht. Uh, but trust me, Alanzi was making his ships way too tall. That's an example. Um, so, and this is, look at this curvature in here. That's that but Haggy made a really nice, uh, ship. Uh... I'm going to go on a limb here and say this hole was never actually used on a CST ship. I I don't think... I think it was more of a just, I'm going to play a round hole. It might have been an early version uh, that they could have done for the Raven, but I don't know. I right, guess we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Here's two unreleased CST ships. Um, that's the one finished unreleased ship. And that is the one CST ship that never got... Uh, that never got finished. Um, but yeah, these are some unreleased uh, CST ships. Now the Huron obviously is a different story, but uh, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time on the next tutorial, and hopefully we'll get a CST update soon. Goodbye.